This is why you go to garage sales. Are you kidding me? <laughs> How do you feel? Are you so excited? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You actually do like it? It's great. It's great. <laughs> what does Pete think of this? All the ones we have are also great. No, I don't have anyone like this. I'm going to get rid of other ones that aren't so glorious. Pete's trying to hold in his excitement. He's about to pass out. <laughs> Sucker's heavy. Yeah. <laughs> Says the lady who didn't ever, ever have to carry it. Yeah. <laughs> I seen it. I just, I just spot things. I don't have to carry. Oh, that looks really heavy. <laughs> Can you pick that back more? Oh, I'm going here. Whoa. Look, you can do a legit job on. These, look at these hangers, Mom. Good. That's the kind you have to have. It's like on a swivelly thing. Nice. If that's not enough, look what else I got. <laughs> oh my god, look at this Italian Florentine chandelier. I've never seen one with these little flowers on it before, like this. Isn't that pretty? Look at those big, big, chunky crystals. I'm not sure what the shape is called. I've never had a light fixture of the ones this shape before, but as we were driving home, the way this was catching the light, it was like casting rainbows all on the seat. But I think, I haven't counted all the arms, I think there are eight arms. I think it's an eight arm chandelier. Uh, but I'm gonna be putting this in our dining room because I've been working on um, doing a bit of a makeover in there and I'm really excited to share that with you soon. It's been a slow process, but that whole room's transformed quite a bit since we moved into this house. Look at the detail down there. Those little flowers, isn't that pretty? So yeah, her mother traveled a lot and they're selling the home and the, she's not in the antiques herself, I don't think, or at least not into this style. Um, so yeah, she was really excited about how excited I was <laughs> to bring these home. So yeah, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Can you handle this? Uh, I'm gonna go He-Man style. <laughs> and then you gotta hook the wire on the... Oh, you're, oh geez. <laughs> Pete is just as excited for today as he was for our wedding day. Look at his face. Oh my gosh, he could hardly wait to get up this morning to do this. Does that mean we're going to celebrate this anniversary? <laughs> I'm going to celebrate. Okay, you're He-Man and I'm the hooker. Yeah, you see what you're doing with me? Oh, look at that. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Should yeah. I climb on there? Yeah. Well, you might have to be, yeah. Like, so you can see down the wall. <laughs> Step one. Hi, <laughs> <I> come up. <laughs> <laughs> you got this, Baby, you made this look too easy. Let's just do it again. <laughs> well, well. Then tell them how. Tell them how this all happened. Well, you were you were even with me at that garage sale, and I sent you a picture. Yeah. I was like, look at this thing. <laughs> Come over here. You said 
Uh, let's start with um, you and your mom went to a sale. I know this is the follow up. So yeah, this and is it, part. so so step one, you drive what an hour that away. Le- yeah, it was at least an hour drive. Worth uh, it, obviously. With a small car, <laughs> and then you find giant things to buy that you can't live without. But you just never know what the universe is going to bring. And then you frantically call me, oh, we got to have this thing. And no, I said I got this thing. Yeah. <laughs> already got it. Already got it. Yeah. That's, that, so that's a key step in this, ladies. I know you're following along at home. So this is a tip. Just go ahead and get the thing. If you're committed, then he's committed. <laughs> right? <laughs> so there was no, there was no talking you out of it. You're like, I'm coming home. We got to get the truck and then drive another hour and like, get what this part giant of me, thing. That what part of me would say I don't want that thing? Like, not only giant, but super fragile, like <laughs> super old, super fragile. Has to be handled with care. Uh, yeah. oh Lord. Oh. <laughs> and then the the lady was like, it takes three men to lift this. So I was telling Pete, I was of course like, it does. Bring guys you work with, bring your fire buddies. Oh. And then you and I ended up being able to carry it through the door. That lady was dramatic. <laughs> we did it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I just did the work of three men. <laughs> you tell me lift it. So easy. But look how nice it like reflects the chandelier now. You're just overwhelmed with the glory. Do, Do they know about the. The history of mirrors in this house. Did I always tell mirrors. him how you said I can't have any more? One right? per room. <laughs> Looks like we just exceeded our limit in this room. Oh yeah, they can see. <laughs> oh yeah, he told me when we lived when we lived in the farmhouse. I had a whole wall. I was just like instead of a mural wall with artwork, I'm gonna do mirrors everywhere because they're a lot easier to find with pretty frames and stuff. <laughs> easier to find. And pizza, you have a problem. Well, you have all these mirrors all here. The only person I know with these many mirrors. That's like, they're so pretty, you know, and they reflect light. I was trying to give them all the design ideas. Didn't work. So now when we moved in this house, he told me I can have one mirror per room. Seems totally reasonable. Did I follow the rule or is there a space? No, we for... just broke the rule. There's a mirror right there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there you have no rules. <laughs> yeah, you know, what rules what? Oh gosh, this room looks like an estate sale. <laughs> wonder why that is. I'm gonna redo the mantle too. I think I'm gonna. Um, I think I'm gonna do the hydrangea garland here this fall. I think that looks super pretty. Boy, I need dust. See, that's what's good about redecorating when you can clean it. Oh yes. I'm like one of the few weirdos that loves to clean mirrors, and I also love to clean crystal, like from chandeliers. I just put music on and I just like rub them, <laughs> get all the dust off. It's like very therapeutic. one of these mirrors in my life. As I was telling you, uh, we did a little bit of research on the way home in the car ride home and come to find out this is called a cushion mirror because of the way that it is cut and it'll add a like pillowy cushiony type of look. It's not necessarily beveled because there are different, I guess, heights and the way the mirror is cut and angled. So there are panels of mirrors all the way around and then the beveled piece is actually here in the center. It's amazing, but I gotta tell you, I don't know if you were as stressed out as I was at that garage sale, but it was like, for me, I could feel my anxiety getting kicked up right now. (laughs) It was like equal parts excitement 
and fear <laughs> all in one. I was so afraid that someone was gonna walk by and just like kick off that crest at the very top. If you are a collector of these gesso or gesso type uh, pieces, which this kind of work is called gesso, and uh, it's done with plaster, and it's all hand done. This is not something that's like pumped out through a machine. These pieces are all hand done with the plaster work and then molds and hand carving, and then it's meticulously hand painted. That's why it's so special, you know, just to think about how these pieces were made. It, so much craftsmanship and time was taken into the design of this entire piece. And if you look really closely, there are really beautiful flower blooms in here and there are pears and big long fern leaves. It's really a beautiful piece. But with these type of pieces, since it's a plaster work and this thing is like early 1800s, it's really, really fragile. So I was so scared to leave it there. I was like, I was like, please, can we lean it up? And the lady's like, no, you're not picking it up. I'm like, well, I wanna buy this thing and someone's gonna kick off the crown and I'm gonna lose it. So I text Pete and I was like, hey babe, I just got this thing and I sent him a picture of it. And he's like, wow, that's beautiful. But I don't think it fully sunk into him that I actually got the thing. <laughs> And I had no way to bring it home because it was my mom and I and then uh, Grace who helps me film. So it was all three of us in my car and no room for the thing. <laughs> so I told Pete, I was like, man, I got to get home. And you and I are hitting the road again to go pick this up in the truck. And luckily we got there. It was fine. Um, but I was, I got to tell you, I was stressing out the whole car ride. I'm like, please don't let anybody kick the crown. <laughs> but it was fine. <laughs> You know, way to be dramatic, right? But um, these kinds of pieces, you know, this is why you go to garage sales. I'm telling you, you really don't know what's out there. Obviously, I wasn't even prepared for this trip today. Um, but this piece is so beautiful. The funny thing is I had all these other plans for it and it's so big. Um, it might be a bit hard to tell. I'm gonna stand next to it so you can see. But this mirror, if I, had it down on the floor. It comes, I think, right up to my eyeballs. So, and I'm 5'8", so this thing is huge. <laughs> and it's extremely heavy too. Uh, but I originally wanted to put this above our mantle in the living room. I was gonna swap out some artwork and stuff and move things, but it's so big. That crest is so big, it wouldn't even fit up there. And it won't fit on top of the fireplace here. And Pete's like, well, where are you gonna put this thing? I told you you should have measured. I was like, no part of me was gonna leave this at the garage sale, are you kidding me? I don't care if it, if it won't fit anywhere. I'd, I'd just plop it on the floor somewhere and stare at it. <laughs> uh, my husband's so practical, like measuring things and stuff, right? Uh, but anyhow, I found this spot here and I did move things around the dining room. So I'm excited to tell you, cause you probably noticed like the wall color is different in here and you've seen some little changes. But my next home tour video that I'm gonna be sharing will be the dining room because this place has had quite a little transformation in here. And the last two pieces that I found at garage sales made all the difference. It's an exciting day. It's a gloomy morning. So I have the overhead light on because uh, we are going to be swapping out this chandelier for the one that I got at the garage sale or estate sale. It's gonna look so pretty in here. I feel like this gold is gonna match everything so nicely, but the crystals, look how big these are. Oh my gosh, such a stunner. And there's like literally no dust on this either, which is kind of unheard of when you like buy an old light fixture. Um, oh, I better get this crystal. I don't want that to fall. I have some loose ones that um, ended up coming off of this. So I'll have to figure out <clears throat> where they all came from. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be so nice to have this in here. This light fixture is not original to our house. It um, was made by the previous homeowner and she said it was made from antique pub lights and it's really cool it's it's more of a craftsman looking style and, and our home is it's not a craftsman home and this kind of like style doesn't really match the uh, decor that I have but it is a beautiful light it's all hammered copper and stuff so I'm gonna save it I don't know if we might save this for something we want to do in the future 
<clears throat> or I might end up selling it locally. We'll see. Yeah, the whole room's kind of torn apart right now just for lighting day, but here's a better angle of her. Oh my God, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight arms. That's gonna be so neat. So this is that Italian Florentine stuff that I love. Um, I have a couple sconces in this same kind of uh, metal work, but this is like the first time I've gotten like a big chandelier like this. so dreamy i'm really excited with how this turned out we um thank goodness like you know when you have that intuition inside of you that just is like nagging it's like we got to do this we got to do this well i just knew it needed to go on a bigger hook i just felt that in my heart and when he went to unscrew the old hook over on the right there it was literally just resting inside of the sheetrock it was not in a stud or anything. It was just sitting in there. So thank goodness we moved it over and we got a, a larger hook and then it's in a stud now. And, or was it called a joist? A stud? I don't know. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it's, it's, it's in the wood. It is not going anywhere. No one is going to die at my dining room table. <laughs> so uh, I touched up the hook because it was like a chrome color and I got out my rub and buff paint and everything and got that all um, painted to match. We put the spackle mud over top of the holes there where we had to move things. So I'm just gonna let that dry and then tomorrow I'm gonna sand and paint everything. But ooh wee, is she pretty. I all of a sudden got really tall. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I, I was like, how am I gonna show you the chandelier and be able to talk with you without being right next to it? So I'm standing on a dining room chair right now. Uh, but this chandelier is like, it's like the earrings of the room. You know what I mean? When like you have a really beautiful dress on and you just need to like add your jewelry. I've always felt that a light fixture can really make the room. It's kind of like, it's the personality of the space. And if you got the wrong uh, fixture in there, it can really like, it can throw off the whole vibe. I knew what I had in my mind for this room. And I was, uh, I was looking on Facebook marketplace and then also on Craigslist. And I looked at a couple uh, local lighting stores as well. And I never saw like the one, thank goodness, because here she was waiting for me at that garage estate sale. So where I bought this was at the same place, as you remember, as the giant mirror over there. And the woman had taken them out of her mother's house. So it was an estate sale that I was at because everything was an antique. And her mom was a world traveler and they lived on the East Coast and she would buy a whole bunch of antiques, she said, in the 1950s. So antiques in the 1950s are like really old now, you know, so that's super exciting. And, you know, her mom was like my soul sister, my style soul sister, because she loved all of the really romantic things and gilded things, kind of like that Marie Antoinette style that I love so much. So this chandelier, I'm like, are you kidding me? I was so mesmerized with the mirror that I didn't even see the chandelier. My mom's like, Serena, turn around. I'm like, Bleh. I was complete sensory overload in that garage sale. So um, yeah, <laughs> here she is, um, so perfect in here. The only thing that I'm gonna do is get one of those uh, chandelier slip cover pillowcase situation. What are those called? It's like a, it's a cord cover. It looks kind of like a giant scrunchie with uh, Velcro that you put over the top of a chandelier cord. So that's the only thing I'm gonna do because uh, my electrician and I were trying to figure out how to hang this because it's out a bit of a swag over the dining room table. So that's the only way I can kind of cover up the two different chains. Otherwise you don't even really notice, like who would notice? You're just gonna be blinded by crystals when you walk in. <laughs> but this one was so beautiful. It's called Italian Florentine, this kind of gold gilding. It's got the acanthus leaves on it. And I thought these crystals especially were beautiful they're kind of a pear and scallop shape type design and the way this catches the light this room in particular in the morning the sunlight really beams through the windows right behind me and the way it catches the prisms and stuff it's just 
super magical. The chandelier did have little silk uh, lampshade covers, which I've kept. I didn't put them on here. I just felt like I, I wanted full the full experience. I want to be fully blinded in this room. <laughs> but I did save them because I know those can be actually quite expensive themselves and they were real silk ones. So I'm keeping them. Maybe someday I'll use them on here or I might use them for another light fixture. Who knows, but I'm so excited that this room is complete. Like, I'm so excited. You know me, I take forever to decorate things, but I think that is also the secret of a really well collected home too. You can't, you can't rush uh, design and you can't um, force your way like to style, right? So it's good to have a vision and maybe you find some things to get you um, through that vision and then you kind of upgrade as you go. That's something that I've done with my vintage and antiques and I'd encourage you to do that as well because if you're buying things like vintage and antiques, they not only retain their value, but they can sometimes increase in value. So that's a perfect time for you if you found like a really great deal on something that you have in your home and maybe you changed your mind in decor or maybe you like really want this, this other upgraded thing instead, you can then sell the thing that you've purchased for maybe more than you bought it for or to kind of upgrade your design as you go. That's why I love secondhand shopping so much. Not only do you do not know like what's gonna be out there but the value of the things and also the history of the things that you might find is also really interesting to learn. We are standing in my dressing room and it's almost complete. I'm gonna take my jewelry off while I tell you a little bit about things, but um, I just did a mural wall in here on this wall. It's so pretty. And if you follow me over on Instagram, the vintage bombshell over there, you can get a little sneaky peek of it already. But next we're gonna be putting some crown moldings in here. And I got these beautiful antique moldings years ago at a giant estate sale. And I've, I've been saving them for this room and it's finally gonna be happening. So I'm hoping that this weekend I can paint and everything and then we'll be working on that project. So I got, I, did, I tried not to get too many clothing things because it's hard, for, I love clothes, I love clothes, okay? But I don't really need anymore. But it's hard when you're at a garage sale and stuff's like a dollar. You know, it's like, how do you say no? It's only a buck. <laughs> so I didn't say no to like three things over here. Uh, I got, these that I'll show you really quickly. So these are, I can't really remember everything that was in the back of my trunk because some things I've already like hung away, but I think these are my three favorite pieces that I got from that citywide sale, or I guess it's not citywide, it was, it was community-wide, I keep saying that, um, but I wish it was the entire city, but it's definitely worth going to. Like if you live in the Salem area, oh my gosh. <laughs> And you have to come up and say hi. I ran into so many subscribers that day. It was super fun. And I hope you know that like I geek out, like meeting my subscribers. Like if you come up and say, hey, hi, I watch your channel. I'm like, oh my gosh, cool. You know, like I totally geek out, you know, so I'd be so excited if you ever said hi to me. <laughs> Just know that I'm a hugger. I'm a hugger. I might invade your space a little bit. <laughs> but these are my favorite pieces that I got. I love like heart stuff. I don't know, it's like, it's so like fun. It's so 1980s, early 90s vibes. And I thought this one was super pretty. I think this one was $2. It was at that one that was like a giant garage and a whole bunch of ladies donated to the sale. I don't know if it was some sort of fundraiser or something like that, but there was a lot of designer pieces and everything in there was like $2, amazing. Um, so this one, super cute. We're gonna try that one on next. Ooh, that's cute, but, but it's see-through. I think I need to wear a camisole underneath. But um, I love the billowy sleeves. Did you see it's kind of a, um, like an oversized cuff? Looks like really Victorian looking that way. And it, they're like elastic too, so it's really comfortable. Wouldn't this be cute? I'm gonna grab one more thing here. Like I just got this jumpsuit. I think that would be cute to wear. See how that's like a V-neck and stuff? Wear this with the jumpsuit. So it's like, oh, I gotta see what that looks like. Hang on. I've got a feeling that it's gonna be cute. It's gonna be really freaking cute. Will it? <laughs> Don't get too confident. Oh. Oh. Wait. <laughs> see, I told you. You need to calm down. <laughs> No, wait, with a belt? Are you, do I look like a toddler? <laughs> or is it cute? I need somebody to come over here and button the back for me though, because I can't reach that. 
I feel like if it had a belt, maybe it would be cute. Is it not? You're my friend, you're supposed to tell me the truth and don't be like, oh, it looks cute. When you're like, eh, you know? Don't be one of those. <laughs> but like, where's a belt? Hello? <gasps> I gotta tell you, that's the one thing I need to thrift I, that I actually need are some belts this fall. I need to, I only have uh, black and brown and I want some kind of fun little pop of color. But I'm just, I'm not saying I'd wear this belt with it, but just kind of break that up. But maybe that doesn't work because the sleeves are coming down too low right here. Like if this was completely different, <laughs> like if it were like this, maybe I could just fold that bit. Oh, I know some of you ladies are such good seamstresses. I wish you lived by me. <laughs> See if it was like that kind of a fit. I feel like that sleeve's coming down a little too far. But you know I love a good jumpsuit bad. <laughs> Ugh, I can't believe you made me put my tight jeans back on. <laughs> I think I need to go jean shopping this year. I'm like, <laughs> um, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I need to go jean shopping. Um, I was gonna do the front tuck, but these jeans are annoying me now. Anyways, I, st I do love this top when I figure out the right situation, but I was thinking like, how cute. Look at this heart. Look at the heart with a red shoe. Just a red little pump and these little pop color. Let's see what this looks like. Fix your shirt, girl. <laughs> I feel like I need to be all the way tucked in or I just don't know. I think maybe I'm being too hard on myself with these pants today, but I do love the little red shoe and the and the colors all together. I think it's cute. I'm just being hard on myself. This one is from a brand called Chaser. I've never heard of that before. And I looked it up online and I was like, oh, expensive. I think this was like $120 or something at Nordstrom. Like, can you imagine? I only paid $2, <laughs> but I love this kind of like, uh, I don't know, what is this, a burgundy color? And it's so soft. It's kind of like a thermal material. It's super casual. Thought it might be really nice for Pete and I when we go on our woods walks and stuff with Millie. And then, oh my gosh, I know you're like, shut up and talk about the patchwork coat, but I'm just gonna pop this on over my dress because well, we'll talk about an amazing fall jacket. So cute. I see all of these girls on Instagram making coats like this right now. Let's go stand over by the mirror. I mean, what? Let's look at that in the mirror. Oh, that's so cute. Get out. Look at the colors. Oh my gosh. That's such a fun fall coat. And it really is vintage. Like I was telling you, I see lots of girls on Instagram making coats like this from quilts, which I think is so cool to like upcycle and reuse old fabrics because there are some beautiful quilts that I'm sure you've seen secondhand too, or maybe you have one that you've inherited that you're just kind of stashed away in the closet. But what an amazing way to actually get it out and see it more often and get some, some real use out of it, you know, make it into a cute little jacket. But I remember my grandma having lots of fabric scraps and there's this quilt at my mom's house and she's like, I can tell you where each of these fabrics came from. My mom's like, that was my mom's blouse that she would wear to church on Sunday. That's my sister's Easter dress. Like each little patch has a story with it. That's why patchwork quilts were so cool. And like that generation, you know, my grandma's, well, I guess she'd probably be a hundred years old now, but her generation, you know, like going through the depression, they did not waste, you know, she saved fabric scraps from clothing and flower bag sacks and they would make clothing out of them or make little pillows and different things. So anyways, I just think these pieces are really cool and special. This one especially is in beautiful condition and it's got so many fun colors. And look at the little stitch work on there. Isn't that pretty? It's like little embroidered vines and stuff. So. I'm gonna rock this one for a bit this fall, and then I think I might be popping this in my online shop. It's the vintagebombshell.com. If you're new here, you can check out my shop, and I do have flash sales on there. Uh, but this one I thought was amazing, like too amazing to leave behind. <laughs> All right, well, before I take off, I do want to tell you thanks for subscribing today. If you haven't seen the other videos in this series, you have to check it out because my mom and I had such a blast during this giant neighborhood sale. It's once a year, and I know you're gonna ask, how do I find out about these things? Well. <laughs> 
<laughs> I look on Facebook Marketplace. So if you're not on Facebook to like hang out with friends and stuff, you can buy some cool things on there in the meantime, <laughs> like I do. So you can check out or you can pop in your uh, zip code and then all the estate and garage sales and things will pop up uh, in your feed. And if you type in the search engine, rummage sale, citywide sale, garage sale, the algorithm is gonna suggest those things to you. So I can't stress that enough because if you don't search and you just kind of wait for things to pop up for you, garage sales might not show up in your feed. Just saying, that's a little pro tip. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye.